So, Mr. Roger, I see you with a big smile coming here for this uh, for this match. Even though Benfica, Antonio just said so, has uh, been uh, crossing the worst uh, phase of this uh, season. How is the team, uh, most of all, uh, mentally for this game? Yeah, now positive again. So, of course, we were all very disappointed by uh, after each uh, single defeat. Um, because, of course, we, we know that this was, was not necessary to lose these games. I think it was also possible to win, also with this performance. But we also uh, noticed that we are not uh, playing on the, le the level like before. I think, tactical-wise, we have some issues. We always talk about it, we analyze it, and we try to return to, um, to our style of uh, playing. Um, I think what we saw uh, the last matches is when, you, when, the, when the match is... Uh, decided only by moments, by one, two moments, then you always can can lose also games. I think what we did before, why we won so many matches, was that we uh, create uh, much more opportunities than the, the opponent, and then mostly we were the winner of the game. And at the moment, it was is not that clear on the pitch. And um, yeah, and I think then we saw that also sometimes if the story of the game is not for you, if you miss a little bit also the luck at the right moment, then you can lose games. And um, now we have to show also. Uh, reliable tactical uh, team performance again. Speaking of, sp speaking of which, uh, you've talked uh, during the season about the winning momentum of Benfica, even when the things weren't going so well in the game, that Benfica had the confidence to win the game. Losing that winning momentum, can it be more difficult for Benfica to, to overcome this situation and mostly in the, in the game for tomorrow with a, a bad result in the first leg? Yeah, of course. For tomorrow, the the result is um, is not good for us. Huh? So we, I think, we missed last week a big opportunity in our stadium to create a better result for the second leg. Um, but it is now like it is. So we lost uh, two zero. And um, we know it's very difficult to come back against Inter Milan. It's a top team with a lot of experience, a lot of individual quality. And then with a 2-0 win uh, away, uh, then to play um, in their stadium, it's a very difficult situation. But uh, it's also not impossible, that's also clear. Huh? So it was a, a pity that we haven't scored in the last minute the 2-1, because would, that would make everything uh, much easier. Uh, but also tomorrow we can score. So I think it's very important to score the first goal. And if we score the first goal then there's only one goal one goal we are one goal away from from uh, from a draw and from a balanced game from extra time from everything so I think uh, we have to believe but for me the most important thing first we have to be very focused on what we want to do on the pitch uh, Inter is a team that doesn't uh, suffer many goals um, how will you uh, overcome that situation is it important to score the first goal very soon in the game yeah, the, the earlier the better, but uh, also to create a doubt to, to the no, to the but opponent. Only when you when you score the, the goal um, later in the match is also um, everything possible. Of course, then you have less time to score the second goal. But I think um, we have to wait for the story of the game. That we have to play forward. That you have to attack uh, is very clear. But it's anyway our style of playing. So um, we have to play on our top level. We have to be ready in each single moment of the game. Uh, and then of course we have to show also our quality um, in the, uh, regarding um, creating chances that we can score a lot of goals um, also away in international matches we already saw we already showed this season very quickly physically how's the team oh, good thank you very Thanks. much